Are you ugly? Statistically speaking, you probably are. Wouldn't you like to become suddenly, miraculously more attractive to your peers simply by Mr. Potato heading your various and sundry protuberances in direct opposition to the will of God? Well, now you can. Hi, I'm Roger Horton. Here at Dr. Rogers Dysmorphia Exacerbation Clinic, we specialize in drilling, slicing, stapling, and otherwise desecrating your sacred flesh vessel until you are the exact right shape your brain thinks you should be based on the media you've been feeding it for decades. Here at the Dysmorphia Exacerbation Clinic, we leave no fold untucked. So, What'll it be? Schnoz lopping, melon balling, chub sucking, dumper plumping? No, I'm just here for a little Botox for my migraines. <laughs> of course you are. Lots of our cosmetic procedures do have genuine medical benefits. From relieving chronic jaw pain to correcting deviated septums to frivolities like repairing your tattered abdominal muscles after an infant came kick flipping out of there like Tony Hawk. But let's be real. In all likelihood, you're here to get hot. Sounds expensive, right? Well, it is. But thanks to the marvel of medical tourism, you can save a couple of simoleons on an invasive procedure simply by traveling to a country with fewer safety regulations. My clinic is located on a remote slice of Antarctica that's unclaimed by any sovereign nation. This way, I can sidestep all that costly training and certification and pass the savings on to you, as far as you know. My business has doubled since the pandemic began. That's because people like you have spent three straight years staring at your own ugly mugs in Zoom meetings, watching your vitality drain from that once youthful punum right before your very asymmetric eyes. I guess I have gotten a little droopy. Do you plump anything besides dumpers? Oh, you bet we do. And by the way, plastic surgery isn't just for chicks anymore. These days, the ugly and insecure of all genders are begging me to make them fuckable. Okay, man, I don't get work done to impress other people. I just want my outsides to match my remarkable inner beauty. I'll say this with zero judgment. I don't fucking care, I just want your money. So. What are we talking at length, girls? You wanna do something about those nipples? Dude, I'm just here for a non-invasive facial tweakment. What's wrong with my nipples? While you make up your mind, I'll just start you off with a good old fashioned laser scrotal ironing. Scrotal what now? Laser scrotal ironing. I've been zapping George Clooney's nards for years. As men age, their huevos start to look like they've got Yoda in a scissor lock. Give me 45 minutes and a laser, and I'll have your beanbag looking like Jeff Bezos posing for a selfie. I guess they are looking a little haggard. See, our society has primed even the most sexless among us. Hey! To want to appear hotter than our genetic roadmaps ever intended. That's why, by some estimates, the plastic surgery industry was worth almost $70 billion in 2022. And that's not even counting animal procedures. Animal, Animal procedures? procedures? That's right, folks. We do pets too. Facelifts, nipple augmentations, testicle implants. People pay me to do all kinds of ethically dubious things to their furry friends, all for the slim chance of winning a dog show or scoring an Instagram sponsorship. Hell, I've made a small fortune beefing humps for a prestigious camel beauty contest. This is a despicable industry. It sure is and it used to be much worse. For example, early breast implants were done with sponges or wood or even glass orbs. Since as far back as the 16th century BC, people have been convinced to rearrange their sliceables and diceables by a salesman with some sharp knives and a god complex to conform to the fleeting and arbitrary beauty standards. Wait, so if I get cosmetic surgery, am I just reinforcing these unhealthy beauty standards that I've been held to since puberty? Am I supporting the very patriarchal order that's been oppressing women Ahem. and narcissists hey. for centuries? Maybe you are. Or maybe 
Plastic surgery in moderation can be a legitimate means of physical and emotional therapy. Yeah, maybe you can do whatever you want with your own body and you don't owe anything to anyone. Except money, to me. But if you ever do regret going ham on your honkers and donkers, there's a hot new procedure that's taking Hollywood by storm. Plastic surgery reversal. After collecting silicone implants like Beanie Babies, celebrities are coming out of the woodwork to get it all removed and publicly denounce the very augmentation that made them the center of attention for decades. For first time patients, I'd recommend uh, our Humpty Dumpty special. We'll take you apart and put you back together again in a single procedure to put you on the fast track to moral superiority. <laughs> you had me at moral superiority. That was literally the last thing I said. I've been Roger, and I've been studying the art of the blade since before you were born. So smooth. <laughs>